Rugby started in 1823 at the rugby school in England where William Webb Ellis picked up the soccer ball one day and start, decided to run down the field with it towards the goal and somebody smashed him. And they found it a pleasant experience. My name is Stuart Crone, and I'm the director of rugby for ISEF. I think it's working for you guys. Let's go back with that. Rugby's taught me a lot of things. I grew into my adulthood playing rugby. I played all the traditional sports in high school. I played high school football, basketball, and baseball. And um, I walked on the University of Colorado football team. But um, I started playing rugby there as well. And then um, I moved out to California that summer. Um, took a year off from school and uh, started playing more club rugby and that's how I sort of carried on. I went to France to study, played rugby while I was studying and then I got my first professional contract in France when I was 21 and dropped out of school again and played professionally in France for a year. I think I had a lot of attributes um, that were right for rugby and so it's just a really fun game to play. Everybody runs with the ball, everybody tackles, everybody makes decisions. At the same time, the camaraderie of the game is just huge. Playing in different places is unique when you're in the culture, say, of South Africa. I was in South Africa when Nelson Mandela, right around the time of his release from prison, so politically, historically, you know, and then to be playing a game that's so much a deep part of the fabric of the culture. It's just an incredible experience all around. Um, playing for Hong Kong was an incredible experience because we played against you know, the U.S. national teams, Fiji, Canada, we played around the world. So that was a great experience as well because got to play top opposition and really test you know, my medal and our team's medal against the best. And then to be able to take all that experience and bring it here where the kids, the students here now travel around the world with me together and play competitive rugby. It's incredible. I was playing um, in South Africa and I was offered to teach for a semester at a school in Durban and uh, I started teaching there. Um, for that semester and then uh, I was offered a teaching job back in Hong Kong at the French International School with it, where I was also playing rugby. So I went back there to play for Hong Kong and started teaching at the French International School and just really enjoyed it. And then uh, after a year coaching at Dartmouth University and um, uh, going to grad school, View Park was starting. They were going to open the school here so I was offered to teach fifth grade and coach the Santa Monica Rugby Club and I saw there an opportunity that I would be able to start a rugby program in inner city Los Angeles. Point of ISEF, the our mission statement is to prepare students to go to college, to go to the top colleges and rugby is another vehicle of opening up a broader world, something that's bigger than what we experience around us every day and I think bringing something different to people, you've when you, if they experience something different, then they're more likely to be open to other different experiences. So um, through rugby, well, why not college? And why not play rugby in college? And then rugby's enabled me to travel. Well, maybe I'll keep traveling. I love to travel and I love to learn. So it's, it's a perfect fit. And then for Los Angeles, the inner city of Los Angeles, um, students love to learn, they're talented athletes, um, they've just, you know, it's just been great in the sense that they've been amazing ambassadors. I knew that the kids would benefit from the travel, from visiting colleges, from the game itself and everything you learn from having to work together as a team. I guess the biggest surprise has been every time we go somewhere, the the effect on the people that we visit is as equally profound as it is on us where we go to. Even in South Africa, you know, like to meet our students to see that they're great kids, that they have so much in common, that they can live on separate sides of the world, but they're all 
trying to get to college. They have a love for rugby and other things and for travel, for learning, thirst for knowledge. So I think that's been one of the most eye-opening things is even in Hong Kong and England, just everybody is changing hearts and minds, our own and others.